hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel i got my coffee we looking cute today so y'all already know what time it is today we're gonna get into some more fragrance today i'm giving you some of my top picks for those popping holiday parties now whether you keeping it cute and small and intimate or you're like you know what forget covidiana I'm trying to ball out. Whichever you're you're doing, I hope you're doing it safely and I hope you're smelling bomb. Um, so I separated this into three different categories. We have the classy chicks, we have the heavy man killers, we have the warm, sweet, and comforting, and then we also have three truly festive fragrances in my collection. If you're new here, welcome, my name is Brie. I tend to focus on natural hair content here, but I am a frag head and I love to share my fragrance picks for you guys. So if you like what you see here, I hope you stay, stick around and subscribe. So if you're interested in hearing all about my top holiday picks for 2021, then just keep on watching. Let's start off with the classy girls first. These are the girls that, you know, they coming in, you know, nice classic red lip maybe a little black dress she's put together she's posh she's just she's classic you know I feel like for me a nice good rose fragrance always feels super classy and I have three here that I love to pull out whenever I want to feel super classy super feminine but I want to get noticed and I want to stand out first one is from House of Siage I never hear anyone talking about this fragrance but this fragrance right here is a stunner and she is Cheval d'Or. Can we talk about how stunning this packaging is? Absolutely beautiful. This is a rose focused fragrance. This has rose, there's some Tonka in here. Um, there's also some wild strawberry. This is for that person that loves that Delina vibe, but can't handle those heavy hitting notes of that lychee and nutmeg. This is more airy. It's creamier. It still has some tartness in it though. So if you like that little tart edge that you get from Delina, I think you will enjoy this. Yeah, it's sweet. It's creamy. The rose in here is just so soft and plush. This is going to make you feel like the most beautiful woman in the room. I don't know why people don't talk about this more. House of Siage is always having a discount, so you don't have to pay full price for these fragrances at all. I think right now, these um, signature fragrances are like 40 or 50% off, so it's a great time to get them. And the longevity on this, everlasting. The projection is definitely far-reaching. I can walk into a room and someone will be like, ooh, you smell good, before I even get like within their bubble. You only need a few sprays of this. It will get strong. It can be a lot. But this is such a beautiful, stunning, classy rose fragrance. So that is my first pick. She had to be in here. She had to be in here. I love wearing this in the colder weather. Now that I've had this for a good minute, um, I really enjoy how those deep incense and nutmeg notes play in the fall and winter. And that is my baby, Delina from Parfums de Marly. And to me, this is a classic chic, chic woman. I can't believe how much of this I've used. You probably can't see it, but I'm already sitting right here. And I got this bottle like very recently, um, but I wear this a lot because it is very classic. It's very classy. Whenever I want to be noticed and I want to just smell very feminine, um, and but not too girly. This isn't too girly for me. This has notes of lychee, there's that classic rose in there, nutmeg. Mm, there's some incense in here. So yeah, this is much bolder than Cheval d'Or. Cheval d'Or is very, um, very princess-like. Like, it, it gives a princess vibe. This is definitely like grown woman, very classic, very classy. Another perfect one if you want to wear like a, you know, like a nice classic little black dress you're going out. But I can also picture this on that super classy woman in white. 
yeah, I'm thinking like white jumpsuit, you know, kind of situation, hair pulled back or like in a nice updo. Yeah, this is stunning. It's beautiful. Definitely one to pull out when you're going out and you're trying to get noticed. Next up, this is a different spin on a classic fresh rose. And I think this is a perfect winter fragrance. A lot of people say that they don't know where to place this, but this reminds me of ice. It makes me think of snowstorms. It makes me think of drinking a good old glass of gin at a holiday party. And that is Roses on Ice from Killian. A lot of people don't talk about this, but this is beautiful. This is a cold rose fragrance. And this features notes of rose, cucumber, and gin. Yeah, this reminds me so much of gin. You get some of that juniper. I think there's a little bit of cedar in here as well, if I remember correctly. This is cool, it's fresh, but that rose in here is so beautiful. And it comes out really, really well on my skin. And it just smells like a rose scented gin and tonic with just a little bit of cucumber muddled in there. It is, there's something refreshing about this. There's something sexy and alluring about this that I really enjoy. If you like boozy scents, but you're kind of sick of the typical like rum, cognac kind of scents that you tend to get during this time of year, try this out. This is just such a different type of take on a boozy scent. And this is not going to be for everybody, but I feel like if you're someone who likes to smell interesting, if you like having that classic rose, but you want to amp it up a bit, you want that twist, this just embodies, like this smells like winter to me. Yeah, it smells like winter to me, so. That is Killian Roses on Ice from the Liqueurs collection. Absolutely stunning. Now let's move on to warm, sweet, and comforting. I feel like for me, sometimes I just want to smell inviting. I want to smell alluring to people. And the first one I have, I only have a little sample of it. I need to go ahead and buy a bottle. But when I think about nice like sweet gourmands for the fall and winter one that I always think about is chocolate greedy from Montal I only have I have a few samples of this and this is one of my last ones I've gone through this on um, this season I've really been testing it and I really enjoy it this is a chocolate focused fragrance so it smells like a sweet cocoa powder with marshmallows and some dried fruits. This is sweet. It's very powdery. Don't think of like a chocolate bar. Think of like actual cocoa powder or like hot chocolate drink mix. It's sweet, a little chocolatey, just slightly smoky from those dried fruits, but so fluffy and airy. This is soft touch. This is one of those fragrances that like you'll wear this and people will be like, you smell so good, but it's not something that's like discernible to them. You know, like they're not going to know what you're wearing right off the bat. I've really been enjoying this and I need to get a full bottle. This is one that you don't want to overspray though. I feel like the chocolate can get very cloying if you overdo it with spraying this fragrance, but this is so good. And Montal, like, it doesn't matter. I've tried so many of them. They all last amazingly on my skin. Um, the oil content in Montal is right on time. But I feel like this isn't too much of a beast mode scent. Like, I would say, like, the sillage on this is moderate. So it's not going to choke you out of the room. It's not going to disgust people, you know what I mean? I feel like if the sillage were too heavy on this, it would be too much around other people. This is so beautiful, y'all. This is a stunning fragrance. I need to get a big bottle of it. Um, that is Chocolate Greedy from Montal. Perfect if you're trying to go warm, comforting, sweet. I'm thinking, you know, more casual. You know, you're going to a, a party that's a little bit more casual, a little bit more laid back. Um, I think these three fragrances that I'm getting ready to show you give that like black turtleneck and chain kind of vibe, you know? 
you know. Y'all know this had to be in this category. This is Killian Angel Share. And this is a cognac based fragrance. Um, there's notes of cedar in here. There's cinnamon. Um, it's a little vanillic. But this smells like apple pie filling. So this is basically smells like apple pie filling. It's amazing. <laughs> I love this. It's spicy. It's sweet. It's boozy. Like I said, people try to give this hate, but it gets hype and it gets hype for a reason. This is a stunning fragrance. It's warm. There's something comforting about it, but it's still very sexy. Every time I wear this out, I get compliments because it just smells delicious. This is such a delicious smelling fragrance. It's one that I definitely suggest if you like to smell sweet, spicy, or you really like boozy scents. Tilly and Angel Share is that chick. Like she's, she's that chick. I've already made a significant dent in her and I got this dent just from fall. Like <laughs> this fall, I wore her out. All right, and then last on my list for those warm, decadent, sweet, yummy fragrances that I think would be great for any holiday festive occasion. This is Imaginary Authors, A Whiff of Waffle Cone. This is another new one to my collection. I do have a fragrance haul that I recently did, if you guys would like to check that out, where I talk about these scents more in depth. And this, this is definitely a true gourmand fragrance, but this, even though there's something very literal about it, it still isn't so literal that it's not a great reach for a classy, you know, event or party or a great holiday party. This would be amazing for a really nice holiday party, something more casual. The notes in this include vanilla, heavy cream, salted caramel, amorous, orgeat, saigon cinnamon, and ice cream shop. So obviously, ice cream shop isn't an actual note that you can put in fragrances, but you guys know that smell when you walk into an ice cream shop. Immediately, you get hit with that sweet heavy cream and salted caramel as it dries down you get more of that cinnamon and what I'm assuming might be the amorous or the orgy there's something that gives almost like a sweet berry vibe in this fragrance it smells like a fresh berry ice cream and a cinnamon waffle cone it's so good this I feel like is amazing for every day when it's cooler outside, but I feel like this would be a great addition to your look, the great topper off of, if you will, for a holiday party. You can dress this fragrance up or you can dress it down, but I feel like this would be great for more casual occasions. All right, let's do the bold gals, and then we'll do my three fragrances that I think are just truly super festive. All right, I have two here in the Bad Gals Club. I don't know why I only have two, but I only picked two. I did right. Yeah, I only picked two. <laughs> so the first one we'll talk about is actually my scent of the day. And this is such a stunning fragrance. This is Delice from M. Nicolef, y'all. I've been loving the Secrets of Love range. And this right here, she is a heavy hitter. She is... This is such a special fragrance to me. This is so sexy. This, to me, kind of embodies what I think of when I think about the Scorpio sign, you know? Um, think about what Tom Ford's Lost Cherry is and just cover that in leather and oud. Amp up the spice. The plum note in this reminds me of cherries. This has notes of plum. There's bay leaf. There are different spices like cinnamon. Um, and there is an ooh note in this as well. And the ooh in this is very smoky, but this is still very smooth. It's sweet. Mmm, yeah. You actually get a lot of that bay leaf, which sounds like such a weird, you know, note, but it smells so good. It makes this very aromatic and spicy. Mmm. This is so good. It's so sexy. This right here, I feel like, is definitely... Like, take that black turtleneck and chain, throw that hair back, throw on the darkest lip you own, some high heel boots, 
thigh highs particularly. That is what she gives. Mm. Or like silk press with the middle part and all black with accented gold jewelry. Like that's what this gives. Leather jacket. Yeah, yeah, you see it, don't you? <laughs> this smells so good. It's it's very potent and it's powerful. It's commanding. It's very confident, but there is a sweetness and a warmth to this fragrance that makes this fragrance not bitchy. Like she's confident, she's classy, but she's not a bitch, you know? Like she's still she's still a little approachable. You just have to you just have to warm up to her. You got to let her read the room first. Y'all, I love this. I can't put this down. It's so good. Definitely, I would say if you're an oud lover, I think you'll enjoy this. If you love that sweet, spicy, almost slightly leathery note to your fragrances, I think you will enjoy this. This is a heavy hitter. She's the bad bitch of the party. You know, she's like that chick. She's top tier. This is going to give you confident, sexy, a little sweet vibes and I absolutely love that and I think that this will be the perfect addition to your stunner outfit at your favorite holiday party. And then another heavy hitter. She is bold, she's confident, super duper sexy. Um another new addition to my collection. This is Kayali Invite Only Amber 23. Y'all. Like I said in my haul video, she was a grower. But this, this is probably Kayali's most complex fragrance out of all of, you know, what they offer. This is the most complex. This has a little bit of sandalwood, a little bit of oud. There's cherry, honey, chocolate, and tobacco. Mm, this is so sexy. Very feminine still. I see so many people saying like this is um, more unisex or I've even heard some people say this is masculine. I, no, this still has a feminine edge to it and I don't know, it's something about that mix of cherry, tobacco and honey in this makes this super duper sexy and classy. It's feminine, but edgy, it's boozy, it's very boozy. It makes me think of Crown Royal kind of. This is gonna get you noticed. There is something about the way that this sandalwood becomes very creamy in this fragrance that I really like. I kind of, I'm not always a hundred with sandalwood. Either I really, really like it or I really, really don't. This has that creamy, sensual sandalwood that I like. Mm. Yeah, this is amazing. Um, This is definitely another like all black one. Um, I'm thinking like, kind of like a black sequin dress kind of you know, short, short him, all that good stuff. Maybe a little, a little leg showing. That's what she gives me. I really enjoy this fragrance, <clears throat> but it definitely feels like something that needs an occasion when I want to feel really boss, really sexy. But I'm also the type of person that wears really deep, dark fragrances just whenever, because that's my personality. <laughs> so yeah, I think this would be another really great addition to your holiday festivities. All right, and then last but not least, we have the last three fragrances in my collection that just feel super festive. These to me are very like dark, um, spicy. They give me that, that spice level that you think of during the holiday season. The first one I have is from Dossier Perfumes. You guys know I've worked with Dossier for a while. Not sponsored, but I do always have to boost them up because they're that good. Um, Dossier is a fragrance house that does inspired fragrances and they do recreations of a lot of our favorite niche and designer perfumes so my candle go out bath and body works always playing games with them candles <laughs> but they do um inspired perfumes of your favorite niche and designer fragrances um they are cruelty free made in france y'all know the whole deal um they are super affordable and the juices are very powerful and potent. And the one I have here to share is Oriental Tobacco. And this is inspired by Tom Ford's Tobacco Vanille. And I love this. 
yeah. The notes on this include tobacco, ginger, apricot in the top, honey, vanilla, and cacao in the middle, and then tonka bean, dry fruits, and blonde woods in the base. Mm. There is something about the way the tobacco, ginger, vanilla, and cocoa blend together that gives me gingerbread vibes. Like this gives like sexy gingerbread vibes. You could also kind of include this in like the heavy hitters category because this is potent. Um, this is a deep, it's, mm, it's spicy and it's sweet. It's sexy, but there's also something warm and comforting about this fragrance. I think because this kind of gives that gingerbread vibe, it kind of gives like a nostalgic feeling to it. Mm. Y'all, I love this. If you wear, listen, if you wear this to your next holiday party, people are going to stop you and ask you what you're wearing. People are going to stop you and tell you that you smell amazing. This to me is truly unisex. Um, It does kind of have like a little, some touches that I feel pull feminine on me, but I can totally see a man wearing this. This is so good. It's sweet. It's spicy. It's warm. It's just ooey gooey goodness. Like I, I love this so much. I love this to the point where I do plan on getting like the original Tom Ford tobacco vinny. I actually was smelling that in stores the other day. And these are pretty dead on. To me, I think the, the cacao and kind of molasses -y nature of that scent is a little bit deeper and more pronounced in Tom Ford's version, but they are so similar. They really hit the nail on the head with this. So if you've been looking for a really good dupe for Tobacco Vanille, this is it, like th this is it. They did it. And then we have another one from M. Mika Leff. <sighs> Y'all, this fragrance right here, it definitely, to me, embodies what I think of, of like holidays. And I think it's because of the prominent orange note that's in this. And that is M. Mikalef Passion from the Secrets of Love range. The Secrets of Love range has been giving me life, y'all. Like, this has um, a bright orange note in the top. And when I say orange, think orange juice, not the peel. Um, so it's a little tart in the opening. This also has um, caramel. There's some oud in there. I believe cedar, if I remember right. There's some woody notes in there, but there is a little bit of oud in this, y'all. This right here, it, it reminds me of like spiced oranges. Like, do, do you guys, like when you, you know, take an orange and you put the little cloves in it, that's what this smells like to me but dripping in caramel like this is so delicious this is it's like a quasi gourmand right it's not quite completely gourmand but you still smell kind of lickable when you wear this <laughs> it's so nice this is mm, to me this gives feminine I love the orange in this this is the most natural orange I have ever encountered in a fragrance it literally, it's that kind of orange that you, you could drink it, you know? I love it so much. This is so beautifully blended. It's very smooth. I don't think that this is a safe blind buy though, even though this has a lot of notes that I think most people would enjoy. I think this is one that you would want to get your nose on first because I think for some people, the orange is so literal that it turns them off. But to me, when it dries down on the skin, it gets so creamy and everything just meshes and blends so beautifully together. That orange, those spices, that caramel, and that little bit of ooh just grounds everything. This is so beautiful. Definitely to me, like this would be my number one pick for like a nice holiday party, you know? Like we're getting dressed up. I'm dripping in gold or I have on like a really nice red dress this is what I would wear because it just gives that festive but still feminine energy I love this this is a beautiful fragrance highly suggest and I just like I said I'm loving the house of Mika Leff. like their fragrances are just everything 
I want to try more and more and more because the more I get into Mikalef, just the more obsessed I become. Alrighty, and then last but certainly not least, we have the beautiful Mirabile from Quinto Canto, and I love this so much. Um, Y'all, Quinto Canto is another house that I really want to get into because this fragrance has impressed me so much. This is sugary, milky, spicy goodness. This actually has quite a few qualities that remind me of Chocolate Greedy and how powdery and fluffy it is. Um, one of you guys said that it reminds you of eggnog and I totally get that. It has that like kind of nutmeg and cinnamon energy. There are milky notes in this, so it is very, it's very lactonic and very creamy, but the spices in this though, this, the spices, it's a spice for me, y'all. It's so sweet, creamy, but very spicy. I could totally see a guy wearing this as well because those spices are deep and they're rich. They're pronounced. This does have some woody notes in there. Mm, and a little bit of lavender. This is just, it's creamy, but there's just an aromatic touch to it that I love. You guys know, I love it when my gourmands have a little bit of an aromatic flair to them. To me, that's just everything. And this, mm, yeah, this definitely gives big Christmas energy. Like it gives big Christmas party energy. Um, I can see this being dressed up or dressed down. I feel like this is really nice. Like if you're the type of person that wears like blazers to go everywhere, you know, a nice fitted, like clean cut blazer, you know, some nice, nice jeans, some heels. Um, but also I can see this in like a really nice dress as well because it's very festive. It, there's something so fluffy about this, but also kind of sparkling too. Like it just feels like a party. Like this is a party and a fragrance. <laughs> it's so beautifully blended. Y'all, this is absolutely stunning. One of my favorite fragrances right now for the fall and winter. I just throw this on whenever I want a little bit of nostalgia. I want to feel comforted. But this is also a beautiful heavy hitter for this time of year. Um, when you're going out, I would even wear this to brunch, like on a cold, like winter day, like you're snowed in and you go to get brunch with the gals or something like that's, mm, y'all, this gives me all of the holiday vibes and Quinto Canto hit it out of the park. I want to try so many more from them. I really want to get Magnificat. Um, and there are a few others, Strychnina, I think Lucrethia so many that I want to get but this one right here I feel like was the perfect introduction to Quinto Canto they are the, the sister house to um Tiziana Terenzi so absolutely absolutely adore this fragrance all right beauties that is it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed kind of how I broke this down into like more comforting gourmands festive, classic, all that good stuff. Let me know if you like this format. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'm really curious, what are your favorite fragrances to pull out when you're pulling up to the holiday festivities? I wanna know because I love adding new goodies to my collection. Um, And I don't know when I'm gonna see y'all, but I'll see y'all soon. <laughs> I love you guys. Bye.